Maybe I'll visit Nishanti. Why not? Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Hey, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Hi, doggy. Right. Moti. See ya. Nice music. Let me guess, you're hungry again? <laughs> Go get it! <laughs> what was that? Oh, nice place you have here. This is, um, a lovely place. Thank you. Not the biggest place, but fine for Moti and me. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Oh, good. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Ask about flute. What flute? So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. <laughs> Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Hmm, what about the neighbors? I don't know any of the other neighbors. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close it down? Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurl themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense uh, anything. Ah, the headache. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Well, saying there's something in the air is nonsense. But no, given that I already know I find out I'm a medium, it's, in this case, it's not nonsense. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. 
<laughs> Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Sure. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Wait, what? I have to ask to leave before I can feed him? Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Oh, I guess I can feed him on the way out. Where's the biscuits? Is that the biscuits? No. Come here, boy. Oh, there we go. Here you go, um, here you go. What do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. Good boy. See ya. All right, but this is the last one. <laughs> wow, he is spoiled. Go He's get totally it. spoiled. At least throw it across the room or something. Give him some exercise to go get it. Bye, doggy. Ah, oh, the messenger stopped by. Let's take a look at that. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Oh well, I've got to back way, way up so I can read that. Looks how pixely the game is. Page... Oh my god, page 1 of 25. Wow, I, I don't mind long reads, but... I'm not sure how anyone watching this will feel about huge reads, but nonetheless, I'm going to play the game exactly how I'd play it as if I wasn't recording, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it. So, you can read along if you'd like, or you can just skip to... Uh, I guess I'll put a time code at the bottom of the screen, actually. You can skip to there to skip past all of the reading. carrying ID with you when you go out, like I asked? Nope. <laughs> Apparently I'm not. Oh, this is from before my parents died. Did my brother die too? Because it sounds like I have a brother, Jack. Oh, this letter's from Sounds like uh, Rosa's mother 
was a medium too. Yeah, sounds like she was a medium. And there's that Joey name again. That my aunt and my grandmother both said. Oh, wow. Um, I just... It just took me this long to realize that these letters are not addressed to me. I, wow, I, for some reason, th I thought they were talking about me. Even though I saw on the date, it's 1960, which would make me really freaking older than I am now. This is my aunt. This is letters. It's my aunt and her mother. What the hell was I thinking? Good to know. It makes more sense now. It makes a lot, a lot more sense now. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter.
Alright, well that was a long read, and I can't believe it took me about what, halfway through till I realized that the letters were not for me, but for my aunt. That was obvious, I don't know why that was hard for me to understand. Anyway, I better answer the phone. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Yes, it should. Alright, simple enough. Alright, let me check those pictures that I found inside of the, uh, inside of the envelope. I don't want to ruin the picture. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. Probably a ghost. Well, that's a kind of awkward picture. <laughs> Well, time to go do some reporting on a suicide, but... But I think I've played enough for today, so I'm really liking this so far. And I will be back soon.